In this night exploration, I'll take you inside of my old and raw archive from the abandoned hospital in Woods. The hospital dating back to 2005 opened for elderly people and provided them with various medical service. However, severe financial difficulties and non-payment wage forced it closed in 2006. After only 9 months, the hospital allowed decay and vandals. I discovered that not only like busted ambulance but almost everything medical stuff was left behind. Join me as I venture inside this deserted hospital. What's up guys, welcome back to another video for exploration. Tonight, I'm on my way to an abandoned hospital in Woods. This is a very, very undeveloped area and there is hardly any public transport. So I'm gonna walk the 7 mile on the trip. I walked for about 40 minutes and and you could see there was not a single car passing by. And this place has few street light. It must drink cool place. It's the first time I've ever felt this way on just simple road. But the air quality is fresher than the dense and tired environment of the city. The quiet environment will be attractive to people who are tired of the city, I guess. I understand people who want to escape to the outdoor like this. Hopefully one day I can have my one house deep in the woods far away from the city. I'm not sure if I would show this video to anyone other than my friends. But if you're American and you're watching this, you're probably thinking it is weird. You can imagine it's nuts to walk along the midnight in such a deserted place with hardly any street light in the United States. But this is Korea and you won't see a single person, let alone encounter a robber or junkies. I mean, the locals living in this place are excluded from the medical service. The problem would even get worse at the closure hospital located in like this. Alright, I think almost done. I'm pulling up to the first little parking lot of the hospital. As you can see, it's pretty wide road. Overground on unpaved road. It literally feels kind of in the middle of nature. There must be some wild animals hiding around. Anyway, I made it. I've also prepared a knife for self defense, so I think I am all set now. I'm gonna venture inside. You can see an abandoned ambulance greeted us. As far as I know, this area is so underdeveloped that the population is so small. So the hospital was still pristine after it was sitting abandoned. But after the location was leaked, many people started getting here. So there will really be severe vandalism, I guess. Got some gurney. It's nightmare. Yeah, definitely a lot of kids getting here. Pretty nasty reception lobby.
I'm gonna check it out. Opposite area from the first word. All patient clinic certificate. Got a bunch of diagnosis papers. Surprisingly, super pristine. Dude, that bed is pre-slay, sitting in the middle of the corridor. Radiology, hopefully I find some x-ray machine. Got a bunch of old documents. Oh man, they smashed the X-ray machine. Kind of little metal night. Contrast mostly walking. And x-ray photo is chilling on the table. Let's claim this room. What the heck? Looking closely, it's a debris of a light bulb called XM177E2 made it by Colt. This model was used for Vietnam War. Of course, it's not real thing, it's just a BB gun. That's hard to find today. I never imagined I'd see it here. Now I'm gonna hit the patient word. I got a um, bunch of stacked canvas. This could have been used as a part of art therapy, I guess. Oh, this section signals that there are a lot of documents worth getting into. Let's give it a look. Holy cow, take a look, I got some brochure. Jeez, there are supposed to be ones that I saw at the entrance. It was only used for 9 months though. I think there are some random bus when the hospital was active. Wonder where they now. Pretty interesting though. Evergreen Hospital. This paragraph is ambiguous to interpret, so I'll skip it. Um, a hospital that provides kindness, satisfaction, and impression to patients. With a beautiful nature as a cave and 200 meter underground, perhaps more than 600 feet. Anyway, 
We protect the health of patients by using 600 feet bedrock water. Let's have the courage to change our lives and our families before it getting harder and more tiring. You can see this department guide on the psychiatry. There are stress disorders, alcoholism, insomnia, depression, PTSD, childhood, developmental disorders with injuries, schizophrenia, and dementia. They offered various recreational activities to the patients as part of their social work. Social skills training, um, library? There's a library here, I guess. Needing forest bathing. This did not last long though. These, here's a picture of the smash, this x-ray we saw earlier. It's surreal. As time goes by, the tree grown on the building and moss covered the white walls. His hospital's name will get into true value. Like I said before, I find it fascinating and sad whenever I see the past of an abandoned place. It is certainly sad that this facility has decayed and gotten vandals and has been destroyed. Ton of medical stuff scattered around this room. There are also disinfectant and unknown pills. There's a literally thousand of these syringes. Let's go up the second floor. Wow, fucking darkness crater. Wait, it's a person? My gosh, right behind me too. It's kind of prison than hospital. 
This atmosphere is relatively new though, it still got a 1940s vibe from the wooden door frame to the color palette on the walls. You could see the trace of the idiots attempting necromancy. I think they were trying to summon Satan and having accompanied them around the hospital and asked them to fight for them. If ghosts pop up, what a ridiculous. It's so babyish. You could tell the huge shower room. Wish I could find some hydrotherapy top. This looks like a day room in this whole area. Patience records. Just tucked in 19 years ago. This is a nurse station, really grimy. This nest. Wow, look at this. I think this floor might be a copy of the first one I started in. Someone attempted arson. This is where the patient would have been gated up from the main entrance area.
It's not middle winter outside, but it's about 50 degree cold inside. It feels like walking through a tunnel in Kirkbride Asylum, getting colder and colder. Alright everybody, now getting up to the rooftop. Surroundings are completely darkness. A little creepy. There are a ton of books left. Must have been library here. Oh, a bird nest. It seems to getting in life inside. These are memoranda related to salary. Considering the situation here at the time, I don't think they are, have a good meaning. Christmas decoration. Alright, now I'm head down to the only place I haven't seen yet. These are traces of dismantling the doll. They seem so stupid. Oh, somebody set up all those fire extinguishers. Kitchen is almost empty. Photo fire extinguisher dust. Face none, don't have a lot in them. Scrapers getting in here. It's a bigger bathroom though.
I went to an operating room, but found a boiler room instead. I come back in the reception area, but there were no facilities like operating rooms in such a backward area. There were no hospitals that could perform surgery, so I think locals would have to go to a further area if they got a problem. Now time to me exit from this hospital. Ambulance is really gutted actually. Just filled it full of crap. Probably come back here in another year, this ambulance will be full of shit. Alright everybody, that's gonna be for tonight's exploration. Just gotta think about all these facilities being used for only 9 months and then being abandoned for waste nearly 2 decades. Can't really tell much, but it's really a shame. It was an exploration worth it, though I walked through the darkness road for almost an hour. Thanks to watching till the end every guys and my friends, hopefully you did it enjoy it. Now I gotta walk through around the 7 miles in the dark, but I hope you all have a nice rest of your day.